We printed a giant NASA fabric. Now, let's print a tiny one. For context, this is how big the chain links are normally supposed to be. This is how big they are at 300% scale, and we're gonna print it at half of this scale, and maybe even smaller. I'm pretty skeptical that that's gonna work, but the reason I have some faith is because my Prusa Mini here is fitted with a teeny tiny 0.25 millimeter nozzle. So we're gonna see if that helps our chances. I just worry that these chain links are gonna be too brittle at that size, but there's only one way to find out, so let's do it. After slicing it for the Mini, we can see that 75% looks like it's gonna work, 50% looks like it's gonna work, and 40% just barely looks like it's gonna work, but we start to really lose detail at 25%. So let's just try these three and see how it turns out. Four hours for something this small is pretty funny, but that's the cost of detail. Let's do it. Just gonna purge out a little bit of filament and I think we're good to go. Our little hexagons aren't looking too bad. I'll check in when it's done. Looks like it's going good. We're almost done. This looks like it turned out okay, but it's gonna be so delicate, so we'll see. The mini fabric is done. Let's be very careful when we pry this off the build plate. Here we go, that's one. Hmm. Let's be delicate with this one. Luckily, I was able to get it to pop off, but you can see that because we shrunk it so much, these little bits fuse together. So I'm gonna try to break these apart very carefully. Well, after some tweaking, here's our 300% fabric, our regular fabric, our 75% fabric, which as you can see is a little flexible. Our 50% fabric, which is just barely flexible, but still I would say a nice fabric. And then our 40% fabric, which is just ever so slightly flexible and still a fabric. So I don't know, did it work? I think to go any smaller, we need to use resin. But as always, let me know what you guys think.